I've read somewhere that the Icelandic language has recognized 27 words for ghosts, and that the Albanian has recognized 17 for moustache. And then in Japanese, the eye of the child and the eye of the adult are different words. Papa, I saw a spooky with a handlebar moustache. I don't think so, little one. That spirit's got a zapata. I was told the name, which I've now since forgotten, of the groove found in Corduroy. Last year, 3,500 new words were added to the Oxford English Dictionary. Given the gargantuan heft and sheer depth of each and all the language of this world, committed to page, throat, hand, have some pity on the concierge, the front desk and staff of the Hotel Babel. How the words fail so unspeakably in the box-cutter grip of death. How many inexpressible sadnesses weigh against how many indescribable happinesses. An equal measure of elephants in one weighing hand against toenails in the other. What is this ape's native tongue? Why can I not name all that I don't know how to ask for? Trying to, it's like asking a human to swear on a stack of Bibles. Easier to wipe the slate, easier to shape the edge of sketch. I have no wish to forget my grief nor be healed from it. There is room in my heart and head and gut. There is enough room too for silence. There may even be room someday for stillness. You will be shocked at how much this world will grace, how much little and how little of that will ever salt your tongue or find its way into your lexicon. There should be enough language in our lifetime to ask for God. There should be words enough to tame our hearts and to beg it, stay. Two days after my dad's funeral, I am playing with my three-year-old niece. She has just kicked me out of the tea party, exiled to a sofa to observe only. No pretend finger foods for uncle. Mid-party, she picks up her elmo cell phone. Hello, I hear her say to her bright red mouthpiece. No, Gong Gong is not at home now. He's in heaven. Okay, goodbye. She stops and considers for a while. Then she allows me back into the tea party. But only if I take sensible bites of the fish sandwiches she has prepared and sensible sips from the little teacup. That I can do. The other night I dreamed of a father who lasted forever. I loved him and I loathed him. I scorned his gifts. I disdained him and I wanted him. I wanted him to see me, yet I lurked in the dark. I respected him, I feared him. I saw his gold, I saw his shit. I saw his gold and shoveled his shit. I stole his shirt, his car, his fillings. He came me, belted me. I was naughty, a disciplined child. I broke his bones and then his spirit. I fed him and clothed him. I held him to my breath. He was comfort to my terror. I lived in such mighty abandoning waves. He soothed my homesickness. He was my home. I was his sick. I counted his pills, prepared his shot. He did not complain. I bitched like mad. He never shed a single tear, even as I filled rooms with mine. I slept fetal by his side, dreamt his dreams. I stoned his dreams. Oh, what mighty boulders I flung at his pebbly dreams. He gave me all the food that money could buy. He gave me an ulcer and no money in the world would look at. I made him presents of my youthful blame. Such lovely, bitter nuggets. I obeyed him and I trusted him. He saw to it that I always did. I showed him the rose that had bloomed in the garden and he showed me the hole where we could bury the cat. I understood his ways. I prayed with him, for him, around him, and when he wasn't looking, I prayed for someone else. He took the chip shot off my shoulder. I took the chips out of his old block. He hid my ugly scars, and I built us a house of cards, all aces, sevens, and jokers. I shook the dust off his wings, hoping he would fly and show me how. He took the sleep out of my heart. This time, I would be the one who went to win, the one that everyone counted on, who didn't stay. In this dream of the father that lasted forever, my dad forgave me, and this time, I learned to forgive myself. My rage then ceased to have a name. 
A dream only becomes one when you wake up. I wake up. I'm lying in rubble. Everything is mud. My homes have become holes. I have no strength to sit up. I have no shovel. Thank you.